So the question of the day, and I, I honestly can't even believe I'm asking it, but the question of the day is, are the New York football giants going to win the NFC East and host a playoff game in New York? So if I ask you this at the beginning of the season, 100% of you would have said Dallas or Philadelphia was going to win the division. And honestly, I would agree with you. Currently, Philadelphia is in first place in the NFC East with a 3, 5, and 1 record. This is honestly the worst division in NFL history. But one team has to win this division and host a playoff game. Um, we've seen this before with the Seattle Seahawks. I believe they had a 7-9 and nine record. But the winner of the NFC East this year is not going to have seven wins, probably six. So let's talk about all four of these teams and how the New York Football Giants could win this division. Honestly, I think they're the best team in this division, and that's kind of sad to say, but it's true. The Football Giants, they, you know, they beat the Philadelphia Eagles at home. They should have beaten them in Philly, but you know, already know. Evan Ingram dropped that pass, would have clutched the game up, whatever. So I honestly think the Giants are better than the Eagles. Besides that, the Giants have already beaten the Washington football team twice this season. They're definitely better than them. And the New York Giants choked that game against the Cowboys in Dallas. Um, Dak Prescott, he got injured that game, I believe. He's not a factor. The Cowboys are also a really bad team. And honestly, I think the Giants are also better than them. The thing that kind of stinks for the Giants, though, is that the Eagles tied the Bengals. This obviously stinks for the Giants because, you know, you can't have a tied record with them at the end of the year just because of that tie. And if they have the same amount of wins at the end of the season, it won't matter because Philadelphia's tie will give them a half game advantage. So if the New York Football Giants want to win this division, they got to get more wins than the Eagles this season. So, is any other team in this division capable of winning it? Um, yeah, every team is capable of winning it. The Cowboys could surprise us all. You know, they had a pretty good performance against the Steelers. They could surprise us all. They could win a couple more games. They're definitely a contender to win the NFC East. Um, so, I'm going to keep them in for now. We also got the Washington football team. This team, I'm going to rule out. They have the worst record in that division. I think they're two and seven. Um, they've already lost to the Giants twice. So if they do end up with the same record, it won't matter. The Giants will win that tiebreaker. And I honestly don't see the football team winning too many more games. I want to rule them out too. And then we have the team that's probably the most favorites team to win this division, the Philadelphia Eagles. Um, honestly, it doesn't even matter. If they're better or worse than the Giants, that tie against the Bengals, like I said, very important key factor because it gives them half a game advantage instead of a loss. So looking at the NFC East standings, I think I just said the football team was in last place, but they're actually not. They're in third. The Cowboys are in last place with a two and seven record. I think they beat the Cowboys already. So that's why they're in third. We have the Giants who have played one more game than everybody else. They have a bye week this week. And after all of that, we might see, you know, the football team and the Cowboys win. So if the Cowboys do win, they will gain the advantage over the Giants for this week. If the Eagles lose, doesn't really matter because that tie, like I said, they'll still have a half lead over the Giants or the Cowboys if they win this week. Looking at the Cowboys schedule, I honestly don't think they're going to win too many more games. And I think the Giants probably have a better chance at winning more. So honestly, that's why this video is a race between the Eagles and the football Giants. So let's look at the Philadelphia Eagles schedule. Man, a rough one. They, you know, they've played some pretty good teams so far. And they've also lost to a couple bad teams. This team is not good. None of the teams in the NFC East are good. And it's honestly kind of funny thinking about the Giants. The Giants hosting 
a freaking playoff game. That's just funny. But let's look at the Eagles schedule and let's see how many of these games I think they're going to win. So currently with a three, five and one record, the Eagles are in first place. And this week they play at the Cleveland Browns. The Browns are favored to win this game. This game is in Cleveland. Cleveland's not that bad, but their record is an overstatement. They've they've had a really easy schedule. There's no denying that. But I think Cleveland probably should win this game. Many others think Cleveland should win. And with the performance against the Giants, the Eagles, like embarrassing performance against the Giants, I think Cleveland defensive line, it's all that matters. He's going to sack Carson. Give the Eagles the loss, 3-6-1. and one. The following week, they have a home game against Seattle. This is Monday Night Football. I don't think the Eagles stand a chance in this game. It's not a loss. That's 3-7-1. and one. The following week, they play at the Green Bay Packers. Man, this schedule's not getting any easier. That's another loss. It's 3-8-1. and one. The following week, the following week, they host the first seed, New Orleans Saints. Drew Brees probably projected to be back during this game. If he's not, this game could be close. If they host the New Orleans Saints, I think they're going to lose that game too. That is a 3-9-1 and one record. And man, this just sucks. It doesn't get any easier from that point. The following week, they go on the road all the way across the country. They play the Arizona Cardinals. Man, that team's red hot. Can't deny the facts. They should lose that game too. That should be a 3-10-1 record. Then they finish the season week 16 and 17. Week 16, they play the Cowboys in Dallas. I don't know who's going to win that game. It's too it's too far away to you know predict that one. But the Eagles could win. The Eagles could lose. But for... For goodness sake, I'm going to give them the win here just because I think they're going to win a game from there. I'll give them the win, 4-10-1, and and the last game of their season is a home game against the Washington football team. And I'll give them the win there too because, you know, two horrible teams. So basically, the next five games for the Philadelphia Eagles, they're all hard games. They're all against um, winning record teams. And they all have more than six wins. Just shows you how tough the Eagles' schedule is. And they end the season with two really bad opponents, the Cowboys and the football team. I think the Eagles should finish the year with five wins and 10 losses and one tie. So now we have the New York football giants. This team started the season 0-5, okay? And now they're 3-7. So this team's definitely playing better than it did in the start. And they've won two games in a row. They've won three of their last five. So this team put up good performances week seven against the Eagles, should have won that. Week eight, really good performance against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. So this team's showing that it's good, it's good enough to win. And that's why I think this team's gonna win the division. But let's look at the rest of their schedule. For the Giants to win the NFC East, they need six wins, okay? Not five, they need six, because the Eagles are gonna win five, probably. Week 12, probably one of the easiest games from now on. They go on the road and play the Bengals. This game's 50-50, and I don't know if they're gonna win this one. But the way that they're playing right now, I think the Giants probably could upset the Bengals. It's too close to call. I have no idea who's going to win this game. I'll come back to that later, though. Skip that. Week 13, they play at Seattle. They're not winning that game. That is 3-8. Week 14, they host the Arizona Cardinals. They probably should not win this game. That is 3-9. Week 15, they host the Cleveland Browns. And even though the Browns are good, I think they should win this game. Like I said before, I think the Browns' record is an overstatement. They've had really easy games, really close wins, actually. And their losses are two good teams. I think the Giants probably should clutch up and win this game. Give them a 4-9 and nine record. The following week, they play the Baltimore Ravens. They're not winning that game. Give them another loss. That's 4-10. And, and the last game of the season 
at home against Dallas. And I definitely think they're gonna win this game. So that is five and 10. Like I said, I skipped the Bengals game. And really realistically, if the Giants wanna win the division, they have to win week 12. They have a bye week 11, and week 17 is important against the Cowboys. I think they'll win that game. But realistically, if the Giants want to win the NFC East, they're going to have to beat the Cincinnati Bengals week 12. And I think it's a capable job. Both of these teams are pretty bad. And I don't know which team's better. But the Giants, they've been playing better recently. Like, honestly, really good. It's not really, really good. But it's good enough to win if, I mean, they get off to games with really hot starts. They have advantage over the team point-wise. Fourth quarter, they start choking. But against the Eagles, we saw that they closed out the game in the fourth quarter. That's why this team is improving. I think they can beat the Cincinnati Bengals. But I have no idea if they will. So the question is, who's going to win the NFC East? I think I've answered that question. The winner of the NFC East is going to be determined by the winner of the Bengals Giants game week 12. Just because the Eagles schedule is too hard. They're not winning those games. The Bengals have really hard opponents too, including Seattle, Arizona, Baltimore, kind of Cleveland, but I think they'll be Cleveland. So like I said, the answer of the question, the Philadelphia Eagles are going to win the NFC East if the Giants lose week 12 against the Cincinnati Bengals and the New York football Giants are going to win the NFC East if they beat the Cincinnati Bengals week 12. So comment down below what you think. This division truly up the grabs. They all have three or two wins. Very embarrassing at this point in time compared to like Pittsburgh with a 9-0 record. The, the NFC East has 10 total wins 10 and the Giants have played one extra game than everybody else in the league we look at that the, the Steelers are 9-0 and they've played one less game than the Giants they'll be 10-0 next week the, the Steelers have nine wins the NFC East has 10 the NFC East a whole division shows you how pathetic this division is there is going to be a winner, though, at the end of the year. Comment down below who you think is going to win. Thanks for watching. Adios.